Hey guys and gals, welcome to another tarantula feeding video. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos. Been very, very busy, and also um, my camera slash phone that I've been using for a couple years now went kaplooey. So I've gotten a new one. So hopefully this video turns out okay because I've never shot a video with it. Anyways, guys, this is Brachy Palma Hamore Mexican Red Knee. Try her on a superworm. I tried her with a roach, but she wasn't too interested. Uh, this one did eat, or sorry, molt, uh, about three weeks ago. She has fed since, but she was on the lid when I uh, first opened it, so she might be a little bit apprehensive. Anyways, guys, we're not going to force it, so I will leave this in as an update, and we'll move on to the next. All right, this is Marilyn Brachypalmo. Bomi Mexican fire leg. She has been rehoused since the last time you guys seen her. Um, she's in a large breeder bin. As you can see, lots of moss. I went nuts with it. I'll give you guys a better look at the enclosure in a bit. Anyways, let's try on a roach. She was in pre molt. Well, she still is. Or she, I thought she was. But, uh,. She started eating again, so we're just going to keep going with this. Or keep feeding her until she refuses a little bit more. Her abdomen looked like it was darkened, then she kicked a little bit, and it's not so dark. I don't think she... <clears throat> there she goes. I don't think she has it. She was just hanging on to it, but she ended up grabbing it. Try to get you guys a little bit closer and a better angle. That roach is not doing a whole lot. But as you can see, she is doing well. I get a little bit of action here. Not much. Anyways guys, I'll give you a quick look at her enclosure. Alright guys, so there's her enclosure, water dish, all sorts of different moss. You guys know I've been going crazy with the moss lately. Um, it's more of a dry moss because brackies like it dry. And I found with this moss, anyways, if you put it in a enclosure that needs uh, humidity, or likes humidity, uh, it molds up very, very quickly. So anyways guys, there's a look at good old Marilyn. Anyways guys, we'll move on to the next. Okay, this is a Canthus Gina Colada. Confirmed female, she also molted probably a couple weeks ago. Uh, you probably, no you can't see it. Her molt's over here somewhere. But anyways, uh, she's very, very hungry right now, as all agents are. So we'll drop this roach, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> crazy. Sorry about the camera work, guys, but that's not a bad shot there. Took that roach down. Uh, she's probably pushing six inches now. She's getting bigger. Just beautiful. She's heading for the trees. Well, not the trees. She's on the tree. Here's another look at her. Just stunning. Beautiful tees. Very, very... Uh, hungry teas, I would say. Oh, oh she's digging in. Freehanding again. Freehanding again. Can't talk, guys, sorry. I'm pretty sure she has it. Roach is just giving her a run for her money, which is okay. Crunchity crunch. Anyways, guys, we'll leave her to that. And there's her molt right there. Alright, guys, moving on to the next. Alright, now over here is Brachypalma Aratum, Mexican Fire Knee. 
she kind of scampered too so I'm having to freehand this see if she wants a rope again she was being rehoused she has eaten since but I don't know what's going on with my brackies today they're not wanting to eat excuse my dog she's in here with me sneezing in the background Nope. Anyways guys, there's a little look at her. On to the next. Okay, this is P. Moranis will be team number five, aka Taco. She was out over here, but uh she got spooked. She did just molt a couple weeks ago, so maybe she's gonna be a little more shyer than usual. Anyways, let's try her on a super worm. I think she got it. Yep, she got it. Now with this new phone slash camera, once I put um, it on, for some reason the screen gets bigger or it focuses in more. So every time I turn it on, guys, I'm not quite in frame. So I apologize for that. I'm going to give her another one. She's a little pig. Uh, she's got a mid on it. Uh, most of you, my old subscribers, know this OBT very well. I do have several of them. She's the one that's out for the most part and most uh, apt to get some uh, footage of her. Anyways, guys, we'll leave her with it. And I will leave that other one in there as well because she just molted, like I said, a couple weeks ago. And she'll end up getting it. On to the next, guys. All right, guys, this is just an update on Large Sarge, my uh, Theraphosa Sturmy, Burgundy Goliath. As you can see there, there is a, a molting map there. There's the molt there. And he is down there. I was hoping he was going to be out because I have a funny feeling he's going to be maturing soon because he's getting quite large. Anyways, I got to pull that molt out and we'll see what's going on. All right, I'm back with my tongs. There is his molt, which is pretty huge. I don't want to touch it because the hairs are really bad. Uh, he just molted last night. I seen him out. Looked like he was laying the the web mat or molting mat, sorry. Um, but I didn't catch him in the act. If so, I would have did a time lapse. So I'm gonna. I'm not going to bug him too much, but I'm going to see if I can coax him out. I just want to see if he's got uh, bulbous pedipulps or uh, tibial hooks. Come on out, buddy. Now, he is going to be very soft, so I'm not going to do too much. I did see him sort of kind of out, but I didn't get a good look. But I'm not going to push it. Anyways, guys, there's his molt. There's my hand. He's a good size. Crazy fangs. But I'll leave that out. And we'll move on to the next. Alright, this is the new enclosure to Pamphibedius McCullough. Purple Starburst. Uh, I believe it's a female. Anyways, I uh, rehoused this one and my other big Pampho. It's just in a... I don't know, I guess it's a Sterilite tub. I don't know, probably about 10 inches high. It's full of substrate. Moss and there's a hide down here. Anyways, see if it wants a roach. Oh, <laughs> I kind of missed it, guys. Sorry. Let me get these off and see if we can get a better angle on that one. And there she is. Just a beautiful tarantula.
give you guys a little bit of a better look at the new enclosure. As you can see here, it's all moss. I got natural wood here. I dug out a hide. And she can come all around here as well. So nothing too big, but the depth is there. And I find uh, the pamphlets like that. They like to, to dig or burrow. Anyways, guys, moving on to the next. All right, this is Grandma Stolopulchra, Brazilian Black. I believe this one is a confirmed female. I'll try her on a superworm. And she's being picky. I tried to get a better shot, guys. Not sure why. She's not wanting to eat. This one did molt. Uh, it was about a month and a half ago. Has eaten for me since. So should be nowhere near going into a pre-molt again. And nothing. Anyways, guys. Get that out of there. Excuse me. And we'll move on to the next. All right, this is a Canthascari Ginoclata number two. Uh, this one also got a rehouse, as you can see. Just a little uh, small breeder box. Anyways, let's see if he or she wants a small superworm. Nomadi gnomes. That's too cute. Just love these guys. Sorry about the crazy camera work, guys. I really need to get a new tripod. Did he get it? He or she? It's got all sorts of moss and it's water, which is not good. It's all funky now. Is that it? That's all you got? Oh, he's got it. Worm's putting up a good battle. As you guys can see there, I have a piece of cork bark, which it's standing on right now, and underneath it, it can get under and hide. So, as you guys know, or most of you guys know, I've been uh, redoing a lot of my enclosures. Um, that's been taking up a lot of time, and again, I apologize for the lack of videos. A couple reasons. My other phone was kind of pooched. It was turning off every couple minutes, really acting up, so I ended up having to get a new phone, and also, I've been very, very busy, so... I know I already said it, but I just wanted to apologize. Alright guys, this is just a little dance stalemate, so uh, we'll move on. Alright, this is Nandu Chromatus, Brazilian, red and white. Um, let's see if he or she wants a little super warm. There we go. Sorry I didn't get it, guys. Oh, very skittish little little teas, but he or she has it. It's a little bit better for you guys. Sorry about the water. I spilled some water on my little feeding platform here. And there's a better angle. Got his little mini superworm, and we'll move on to the next. All right, this is Brachypalma Hoopalosum. I'm doing curly hair. Uh, I believe this one's a male. I'm gonna give him a big fat roach. He is due for a rehouse. There we go. Roach is all frozen up. Crunchity crunch. Very nice. Love these guys. And there's a better angle. Roach is doing the old air swim. Oh, that's what I call it. I'm not going anywhere. 
And as you can see, the tarantulas do stand up taller when they have a larger prey. And for that reason, so the prey can't reach the ground and get more leverage. But he's doing well, guys. So is that roach. On to the next. All right, this is kind of hard to get a look at, but this is my mature male H. Polkapes. As you can see, he's not as pretty as he used to be because he's hooked out. But let's try him on a superworm. Did eat a couple of weeks ago, and as most of you guys know, mature males aren't so interested in feeding, more interested in breeding. I'm going to drop a smaller one for him. Get that one out of there. Sorry about the angle, guys. He's kind of on the edge. But, anyways, guys, that's an update on my H. Poker Peas, which are male. Okay, this is Grandma Stola Rosea, Chilean Rose, red color form. This one needs a good cleaning, but here we go. Where are you going, girl? Here. <laughs> Come on back. There we go. She got it. Good stuff. She's also, well, not so much a rehouse, but she needs a, she needs a cage cleaning. She poops along the sides and it doesn't come off. But there's a look at her, guys, and gals. Beautiful little tea. Hasn't molted in a very long time, but as most of you guys know, Grandma Stolas are very, very slow growers. Anyways, guys, it's almost a minute on her, so we'll move on to the next. As she backs up the bus. Well, we'll leave it on her for a second, see where she goes. Out of frame. Bye-bye. All right, back in the corner there is GBB number one. And she was way over here, but she spooked and went over here. So I'm not sure if she's going to eat, but we'll give her a go. my goodness I don't know if you guys heard that but that was crazy 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 fast crazy crunchy there's a better angle or look just beautiful anyways guys not doing much with it so we shall move on to the next Okay, this is the enclosure to Simopoas Arminia, Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Her feet are just right under this roach. She was out, but she ran and hid. So let's see if she's going to want this roach. Oh, sorry guys, I think my tongs were in the way. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Actually, we'll see if we can turn this around. These are the, uh, these are the one, one gallon. Or one liter, I forget. I think that they're one gallon uh, paint tins. Uh, I did some other enclosures with this, uh, the smaller ones. <clears throat> I got, I think it's six or seven larger ones like this. And uh, I rehoused some of my Samapoas into these. I had them in larger enclosures. They didn't seem to eat as well. Excuse, that's my, uh, my roommate's puppy. It's howling in its cage. But anyways, um... Yeah, so I, they didn't seem to be eating as well, so I I downsized them in size. And that's sometimes you have to do that if you, the teas don't feel secure enough. You have to downsize them to a smaller enclosure. So that's what I did. Anyways, I'm going to see if we can zoom in a little bit here. And let's see. Let's get a look at her. Excuse my hands, guys. There she is. Oh, she's molted too, so that's good. Or did she? No, that's not a molt. That's just on too close. So, she's got a roach. Still getting used to this new camera, guys. So, excuse the camera work. But, there she is, guys. Big female doobie roach. On to the next. 
All right, here we have Pocotheria Miranda uh, Bengal ornamental. Let's see if she wants a roach. Don't really have that well. Let's try that. Oh, defensive. It's okay, honey. Sorry. Just tangle that up right here. She will get it. She molted a few weeks ago. So she's ready to eat. She has eaten since her last molt. I think she was sleeping. So should we look at her? Sorry guys. But she's just gorgeous. I find she's uh, pretty chill, meaning out in the open. She's not as uh, reclusive as some of my other pokies but anyways guys let's look at her moving on all right this is from ichthabis cancerities haitian brown bird eater number four uh good sized female let's try her on a female dubia roach from mature female as you can see the roach just played dead And as most of you guys know, these guys are fairly defensive. Well, very defensive. Fairly is an understatement. Uh, so I'm not going to poke. Sometimes I'll poke at the roach just to get it to move a little bit. But uh, I don't really want to do that with this one. I think it was my last feeding video. I don't know if it was this from Mictibus or my other one. Uh, gave me a crazy, crazy threat posture. Yep, she got it. Very nice. A little bit of a better angle. Just beautiful though. sure if the camera's picking it up but she's almost got a purpley reddish hue to her and there's the big roach and her fangs getting a shadow there but it's from the side of the enclosure anyways guys moving on all right this is Mictivist Cancerities Haitian Brown Bird Eater number five I move this a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do the same as the last, a big roach. Just got a mid on it. Let's see what she does. Usually the male roaches dart, but uh, it knows <laughs> something's got it by the back. They just freeze. Come on, get it. Oh, very nice. Almost out of frame, but it worked. tripod that was a nice takedown roach was sitting still and finally I guess it moved in the big Haitian brown or from Mictivus Cancerides took her down pretty neat Looks like she's almost climbing up the camera, but she's not. She's still a good ways away. The 
Rope's putting up a good fight. Very cool. She keeps moving. Stay still. There's the rim. All right, guys, that's a long time on her, but some nice footage, and we'll move on to the next. All right, this is from McTavis Conserity's Haitian Brown Bird Eater number five. I'll try and move this a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do the same as the last, a big roach. Just got a mid on it. Let's see what she does. Usually the male roaches dart, but uh, it knows <laughs> something's got it by the back. They just freeze. Come on, get it. Oh, very nice. Almost out of frame, but it worked. They need a new tripod. That was a nice takedown. Roach was sitting still and finally I guess it moved in the big Haitian brown or from Mictivis Concerities. Took her down. Pretty neat. Looks like she's almost climbing up the camera, but she's not. She's still a good ways away. Rope's putting up a good fight. Very cool. She keeps moving. Stay still. There's the rim. Alright guys, that's a long time on her, but some nice footage. And we'll move on to the next. Okay, this is a freshly molted Brachy Palma Vegans. Uh, well, not freshly molted. A couple weeks ago. But she is looking just stunning. You can see her there. Just beautiful. I'm going to drop a roach in front of her. Very nice. Crunchy crunch. Just stunning, though. Stunning tease, a little feisty, but stunning. I think it was Marilyn Moore, uh, it was a couple weeks ago. She handled one of her big, I believe it was a big female, Bracky Palma Vegans. I don't know if I'd want to handle mine, even though I've handled some crazy stuff, but for some reason, I find these guys a little feisty. And anytime I handle anything, it's more or less, sorry guys. It's more or less the uh, tarantula decides it wants to come out. Let's see if I can get this around here a little bit for you guys. Instead of moving the camera, move the enclosure. Very nice. I do have a mature male vegans. Um, I may try pairing these guys or her. I did hear dr her drumming. Uh, it was a couple nights ago I was in here, <clears throat> so maybe I'll give it a go. Also, some of my uh, OBTs, my younger ones, uh, two, three of them molted, two of them hooked out, um, and Taco just hooked out as well, not hooked out, sorry, molted as well, about two weeks ago, so I might do an OBT pairing as well. But anyways, guys, that's a long time on her. I believe this is going to be it for this video. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Uh, some teas fed, some teas didn't. Uh, that's just the way the videos go. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and again, I apologize for the lack of videos. Been very busy, lots going on, and also my phone. 
but this was this was good this phone uh, didn't overheat once through this whole video you know which makes it much much easier and much much faster but anyways guys until next time have a good day and a good night wherever you're at take care guys bye bye